thick of monkey pants. Welcome back to Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike RC YouTube channel. We've been out here flying this MiG, getting it dialed in. We've had some things here and there to overcome, but it's worth it. Um, 48 inch wingspan, fly super light. We have flown it with Admiral 5000s all the way forward. Still see GN just a hair forward of the book recommendation, and it's been really spot on. I'd make sure you have plenty of elevator though if you're gonna cheat nose heavy because it's very small. I've got a little bit of up trim at neutral but not much and that's my 100% high rate. That's my low but I'm liking high. Um, you're gonna run out of room on the control rod so I end up having a little bit of reflex on these ailerons but swing span 90 millimeter EDF 100 amp ESC. Um, aluminum CNC landing gear are fantastic uh, and there's some sequencing going on I did not get a manual a pilot and mine came with a curly gear door which I had to kind of try to fix and a dead on arrival elevator servo so we'll see what they do about that for me but the plane man pretty sweet see that open up and then Okay, sometimes you gotta cycle it a little bit. We noticed that in the air as well. So if you like gambling and stuff, this is a great plane for you. Because <laughs> maybe the gear are gonna work, maybe they won't. Who knows? But it's a fantastic plane. I almost just got rid of these all together last night, screwing around, because I, I was like, who cares? And one's already curly, but... I thought I'd fly it with everything it has. CNC aluminum landing gear. This is gonna be an editing nightmare for me. Tighten up all your screws, double check them because these plates are what hold the servos on. The servos are screwed to these plates. Make sure your servo plates are screwed to the wing good. Um, that's something I noticed last night. Um, it's a pretty easy assembly, pretty slick. I really like flying it. Let's get this thing up in the air, Mike. All righty. Stick a monkey pants. Okay. He's over there. Yeah, he's not. Alright, here we go. Taking off. And the nose gets light and she is out of here. Alright. We're gonna just glamour pass a little bit for you. Sorry I'm so far away, man, trying to sort these landing gear. Man, it's got some punch. How's it going, Michael? I think it's all right, yeah. Go for some vertical over here in the clear blue. Look at that beauty. 5,000 Admiral just now stalling out. Oh, is he low over me again? Crop Duster and MiG-17 Tandem Flight 2019. So I've been having a little bit of trouble on the landings. Bouncing it and then the second hop's okay. So we're gonna go like full flaps. I want my high rate back. And we're gonna drop the gear and play with some landings. Look at those nice slow operational landing gear. This thing flies so nice and light, it's hard to know what to do. Did those gear just go up on their own? I thought I had them down. Didn't you? Uh, I can't see them here in an angle. They are up. They're up. Well, they're not supposed to be. So. That's interesting, right? 
<clears throat> getting bit here. Okay, so gear down again. Now I'm gonna try to figure out what I've been doing wrong. It's just gotta get bled all the way off, I guess. Really dog, really dog, really dog. And I can tell there's a flat turbo going up. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that sucks. Two servos going out on this thing. Already. Now we just landed without a landing gear because they didn't put screws in the retract which screwed up the flap servo right bobby probably guarantee it because i did it i landed and did a donut yep. so now i'm afraid to use flaps but i want to use them because i i actually bled it off all the way and i like that one it looks good look at that settle though i can't believe it for no power how it's settled. <sighs> Oh my gosh, no uh, flaps at all. Well, I'm at four freaking minutes. This is a keeper right here. You know what? Despite its faults, I'm like still totally stoked about it. You know? It's a sweetheart, really. It's a big, big jet. Dude, no power, dead stick. Speed is more than I want, honestly. Bleed it, bleed it. Oh, steel wheelie. Ah, still. Yay! Hey, hey. Man, that's cool. 446 at touchdown. I'm gonna check this pack. But don't cut the tape, Mike, because I want to show everybody this awesome flap servo. You ready? Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Maiden flight day. Flight number what? Four or five? Oh, cool. It's just a travel thing. I'll just only do that much. I mean, I shouldn't have to, to fly like that, guys. That's crazy. Actually, this is what are those uh, or, ortho? What are those oh, ortho things? Or ornithopter. Yeah, ornithopter mode. <laughs> Look at that. Ornithopter. Here we go. We'll get it going and just hand launch it. Jeez Louise, <laughs> man. So, anyway, really nice otherwise. Let's see about battery suspension is dynamite you know that's sweet holy smokes hey look at this three seven sixes across the board Landed at four minutes and 46 seconds. Now, mixed throttle. I was doing some slow stuff. I wanna um, show you guys my rates, but that's, I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Let's, uh, can you see my rates, buddy? So, high rate, aileron, 90%. Elevator 100%, 100% on rudder. We'll start back over. Low rate 80% on aileron, 65% on elevator, which I never really flew that way. I like the high rate all day. And then 80% on rudder. And uh, that's it. Um, Expo 30% all around, no matter what. Okay. So I think we've done an okay job. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have an editing nightmare trying to show like this and that about this plane. 
Um, none of it's a deal breaker. Like I'm super glad to have it, but I've been messing with this thing all day. Had to replace an elevator servo. The retract popped out on a bad landing because it wasn't screwed into the wing. Um, make sure all your screws are in because those plates for the servos, the, the servos are screwed to the plate. So if the plates aren't in, your servo, you're gonna lose it. Um, otherwise, it's been really, really slick, man. A um, Couple things to look out for on the build. We showed you the inner gear door. You need to have your ball link on the forward end of that door for the geometry not to bind up uh, when the wheels come down on the door itself. Otherwise, it's, it's, uh, it's been pretty sweet. I burn up a flap servo because I came in on a landing gear that didn't have screws in it. I didn't know. So check it all out, guys. Pull these white little plates off. Right here, pull these white plates off and make sure you've got, sounds stupid to have to say it, but make sure you got screws in these beautiful aluminum milled retracts um, because it's definitely very helpful to have screwing screws holding the retracts to the wing. Don't ask me why, I just think it's probably a good idea. And you know what, they had holes for them there already, so why not? <laughs> um, super happy with the power plant though. Really, really am. Let's, uh, we'll see you later. We're gonna do some more of this. But um, check it out. It's nice, it's big. That's what she said. And then um, the build, I did a build and unboxing that'll be on the channel soon as well. Nice plane, but check it out with a fine tooth comb. Uh, again, not a deal breaker, worth having, but um, be prepared to do a little bit of fine tuning and just check it out. I didn't get a pilot, a manual, and a couple things wrong out of the box, but I'm um, still really glad to have this MiG-17. All right, guys, see you later. Check out the description for uh, everything you need to know. Appreciate it. All right, turn it off. Whenever you're ready, man, turn it off. Whenever you're ready, man. Turn it off whenever you're ready, man. Is that you filming me? Look at that. I'm getting sucked in. Ah!